It is a mistake. It is a mistake. And it is actually not the position of Imam Shafi. Not the position based on his statement, Ida Sahal Hadith, Fahuwa Madhabi. Yes, he did make the ruling based on another narration that Kunut was to be done in every fashion. However, he covered himself being a fallible human being who could make mistakes. He covered himself by saying, if any hadith turns out to be authentic, then that is my true madhab. So, when later scholars found out that the hadith that he had depended on was in fact inauthentic, then we know that his true position would have been not to do umut in Fajr. But, according to later day scholars of the Shafi'i school, it is something to be done. If your child does it, umut in Fajr is not sinful, it doesn't break the validity, it doesn't you know, invalidate the prayer. So if the school is taking such a strong stance, I would just say, let the child pray. But you are inform the child that this is not something that you have to do. So on other occasions, whatever, when you're back home with us, we don't do it because you really don't. You can do it, but you don't have to do it. You educate them. That was the last written question. You take some questions. Go ahead. So, I wanted to ask a question. One asked me a question about praying is the heart and dreams. So you said that dreams can be in three types. The one from God, the one from ourselves, and the one from Shaitan. And the example that you gave the ones from God would be things that are clearly good for us. Uh, but when we pray to the Kara, we usually choose between two things where we're not really certain which is the better path. And you know, maybe one path is the one preferred by God, and maybe one is preferred by Shaitan. So then after praying, uh, if you have a dream that seems to guide you in one way or the other, how can you be certain that it's from Allah and not from Shaitan? Okay. <clears throat> First thing to understand in terms of istikhara, right? Our brother was asking about making istikhara and knowing through your dreams uh, whether it was a good thing to do, so you should go ahead and do it, or wasn't a good thing to do. Because if it was from Allah, then it would have been a good thing to do. If it was from Shaitan, it would have been not a good thing to do. <clears throat> And this is based on the common belief that the answers for istikhara are found in dreams. <clears throat> in fact, some people teach this, that you know, when you have to make istikhara, you make sure you do it before going to sleep. Huh? And uh, they'll even tell you that uh, if you see a green light or green thing in your dream, know that it's okay, go ahead. If you see red, then no. Better not. Please know that dreams have nothing to do with istikhara. There is no connection between istikhara and dreams at all. You're not supposed to look for answers in dreams. That is not what the Prophet ﷺ told us. And when you're making istikhara, it is not between two things you don't know which one to do. This is not how istikhara is made. You make istikhara when you have decided upon one thing. You have two things in front of you. Should I do this or not? So what do you do? You just immediately go make istikhara? No, no. You investigate these things. You ask the advice of those around you, those who are knowledgeable, the scholars, whatever, you gather information until one of these two things appears to be the right thing to do. When you feel this is the right one, 
Then you go and make this nakara because you've done your part. You've made your effort to know what you need to do. Then now you're putting your trust in Allah. So you're saying, oh Allah, if this thing is good for me in my religion and in my life, then make it easy for me and bless me in it. If it's not good for me in my religion, in my life, take it away from me. Take it away from me. And destined for me what is good and make me pleased with what you have destined. So it's great. Very simple. So if you have decided on this thing, you made your istikhara, and you go ahead to do this thing, then you start to find roadblocks. Problems are arising. You can't do it. You have to do this. You try to do that. It's not happening. Here, there, everywhere. It's not working out. This is the sign. This is the sign. Don't get frustrated and start to cry and scratch your interior clothes and bang the desk and you know, no, no, no. That's the sign. You ask the law that if it's not good for me, take it away from me. So when he takes it away, don't start crying, oh, I want it, I want it, no, 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 no. No, you just asked him to take it away if it's not good. And he did. So say, Alhamdulillah. <coughs> That's what you're supposed to do. And if it is something good, you go ahead, Everything works out, everything is fine, everything goes in place, and then you know, that was a good thing. Please. commercial banks. That's my position on it. 
Line up behind him, makes a lot. 